feel like when you're just ready to find the car off the road, it's time to... Real estate. Okay, if you, everybody's got their uh, phones turned to silent, please. And then we'll go to uh, uh, call the order at 6.02 p.m. on February 14, 2023 with the Newport Planning Board. I'll start with a roll call with Herb on my right. Herb Keller, Select Board Rep. Raymond Kibbe. Uh, Ken Merrill. Bert Spalding Sr. And David Burnham, Chair. Bert Spalding will be sitting for Tobin, who is unable to make it tonight. And Herb is sitting for Jim. Jim. For Jim. For oh, yes. Because Jim's a regular, he's the alternate. Yes. Thank you. Agenda review. Uh, I think administration wants to update us on the yes. hockey room. I, well, I'd like to request that if we, I, we do have the superintendent of schools here, that uh, Donna came to just listen to an overview of what we found out about that hockey rink and the land. Uh, and I was going to request that that be moved prior to continued business, if, if you approve. Do you have a motion? I'll make a motion that we uh, move that conversation first on the list. Second. And we have a second by Burke. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Any abstentions? The ayes have it. Go ahead with your... So what, first of all, what I would like to say is if anyone has comments or wants to participate in a discussion about the hockey rink, they could do that during the public communications. This was just to give you an update that, I don't know if it's fortunate or unfortunate, but the hockey rink was built on land that was purely designated for recreational purposes. And regardless of the, it being a donated land, it has to stay that way unless there is a replacement of kind somewhere else. And it doesn't have to abut or be adjacent to the school or that property. And the other main thing that was found, and this is all going to have to be worked on prior to permitting because it was one of your conditions. I just wanted to update you because it's such an anomaly that um, the school has been working with the state getting some information. Uh, I've gotten a lot of information mostly from uh, residents here on finding this grant. And um, after this, I'm planning on for the most part, updating the town manager of where he wants to go forward with it because the school and the town manager and the superintendent at the time, I think it was 1995, it started in the 70s, but I think the hockey rink came into possession in 1995. The names of the school uh, superintendent and town manager are on all the paperwork together, signing for everything. So instead of this just being like a school issue or oops, it's a town issue, it's kind of like we're both in, in it together. And uh, I just wanted to broach you on that. And hopefully we can have some kind of agreement so they can permit with the other conditions you guys, I need to, I, there's a few other things I have to do too, but be able to satisfy all the conditions that you requested to build the vocational school on that location. But presently, Presently, as I understand it, we have to come up with some solution prior to permitting because this land is designated strictly for recreation, like they did with all the other pieces of the property adjacent to the new agricultural structure. And again, it, yeah, and I, I just wanted to close the circle and obviously if you guys continue have questions or continue want me to update you on the findings of it or whatever, what's going on, I could do that. Absolutely. So it's still unclear from the grant search who ultimately has ownership as a town? Or it's, we're both, well, uh, the legal might, I've also thought when I've been talking with Ed Edmonds that was Ed, Ed E. Bond, I think, that was on the, um, I said maybe even legal, uh, like illegal needs to be involved, but that I think Hunter should decide or BOS or something. But what it looks like is 
we both approved, the town and the school were working in tandem, approving all the money, approving all the conditions, approving that this, this land cannot be used for anything else besides recreational purposes for perpetuity. And so it seems like it, it should be a collaborative effort to me, but if you've got legal counsels involved, which I hope wouldn't have to happen, I guess they could argue, no, the town isn't involved or no, the school, I don't, I don't know, that's above me. But from a bird's eye view, <coughs> It looks like it's a school and town collaborate conglomeration. So from where the building is going, so I mean they could as long as the school in the interest of putting the building there agrees that they will replacing time to satisfy that prior agreement. Well right. It's not it could be costly though. Like if the school did that on their own. Okay, right, true. Absolutely. In terms of that grant. No. I know, absolutely. No. no. Okay, so we got to kind of get rid of all of the paranoia here and all of the whatever. Um, it's an easy solution, a quid pro quo in property. And the school believes that they have enough to do that. Um, it went forward to here with the impression that we might not have to do that. But it is my understanding, Don, am I correct, that we have sig significant other that will um, be the the... Uh, exchange for here, which uh, last thing we're going to see is the brakes on this project. So, but, I mean, that's got to come that's, up yeah, that's so. not really one person, yeah. So, that has so to, I mean, to me, just listening to you know, what you said, and everything, I mean, that has to go to conversation between town manager and/or board of selectmen. I mean, as of right now, an agreement with the right. school to yeah. satisfy the terms of, of your the, yeah, or the no rent. permits get interest. Yeah, grant. and no, you put it on a condition, and no permits would be submitted unless someone <coughs> directly, you know, above me came and told me to permit. But as of right now, they have to satisfy those terms, or come back in here and present to you to have them removed. But the understanding at the state level is. I don't think it needs to hold up permitting by any stretch, but the, it, the, the half an acre, roughly half an acre, it might be a little more, has to be set aside somewhere else for strict recreational use. And that's not, I think it could be done, but it's not as easy as the, half an acre in Newport's pretty expensive right now. Well, in any event, that's between, I mean, all it is is just a, what do you call it, quid pro quo, or just yep. an agreement yes. between school in town yes, that this exactly. will be done exactly. yep. Yep. prior to moving forward with pulling that permit. Uh, th uh, that's that easy. Yes. Yep. I, 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 can, I can testify that it will be done. Uh, we uh, did some hiking today and uh, uh, measuring and we're fine. Are you hiking in the woods? Uh, or, I mean, you, no. you can't give a mountain property with trees on it as a flat. <laughs> it does. It's, it's, already, it's already attached to recreational land. Okay. Um, it can't be land, though, that is already currently used for recreation, because I thought we could go into, like, the town forest or something, and I was told, actually, by Ed Emond that you can't take recreational land and make it recreational land. Yeah. And, right. So, so again, it, it, I just really wanted to state that there, <laughs> that land does have, like, a, a, an issue on it. We just need to solve it. And then the permit, I just, that's all. Since it did come to more than I would have thought it was even that night. I would have thought it was much more, it seems a bigger issue to me. Not in the eyes of agreement, just of like even monetarily to me. Uh, but maybe I'm wrong than, right, than I yeah. thought that night. I thought it would be easier. Right, but it's no different than what they did with the basketball court. Not the basketball court, the uh, tennis court or a soccer field. They did, and that cost a lot of money to change into, but I think those were like... That's, an, that's a commitment yep. that's got to be there. Now, what gets put... So it's a rec field uh, for a rec field, is the it, way I, I would it has explain the, it to me. The acreage has to be used for some recreational use. It does not have to be designated for hockey rink, although it could be, of right. course. Or right. any... Right. Right. I think that was the only other conversation. I don't know. Uh, uh, make a note that uh, Mike Lucio is on board with us now at 610. Yes. Okay. You want to hear from me now? Thanks.
Yeah, I'll, op I'll open the, the uh, floor for public comments or questions. Ed? Well, I, I, I made a call to this guy with the, the Parks and Recreation today. I've been in contact looking at the act, different acts about just what you discussed. There's an Act 54 and there's an Act 36 free, all dealing with that same exchange process. And probably by now, somebody's obviously aware of it. And, and it, it, it's, it's the thing, and I'm going to say this word wrong, but obsoletation is, is one of the conditions where you remove a facility when someone determines that it's obsolete and it's not usable, but you cannot like put a building there. You have you have to replace it with like you said, you know, not necessarily the same thing. It doesn't have to be a hockey rink. It could be anything, football field, but it still has to remain open space. And then the other thing is problematic encumbrance. Well, that has to do with with, with uh, if you if you're thinking about making the change. And I think that's what you, people are looking at is the fact that if you decide you want to put a building there, you have to replace that piece of land and designate it as a as you know as a recreation area. And that has to come from somewhere. And but and the other thing he said is this is all incumbent on the town. The thing I didn't understand is a lot of signatures on that grant. And she's got a copy of all of what she said all the names, but the reality is the grant was put, made out in the name of the town. So we are the ones that would, would bear the brunt of, of any errors that <coughs> likely would have happened had this not been, been uh, brought about. Because it, there's more to just making that swap locally. You need to, you need to get the approval of the, the Hampshire Arts, that, uh, uh, that group down there uh -huh. in the you, you just You have to make a request, and, and you, say, you say that's already been, been, been researched. So I was just trying to clarify what she, just, uh, what she said, but I, I found, I, I thought it was a joint grant, and I found out, no, the grants are only issued to towns, not, and the schools are <coughs> agreements for you, those agreements are just for usage of the property and maintenance, et cetera. So they agreed back then that we could use it for that, or anybody could use it, and you, you could put a parking lot in there, for that matter, if that parking lot were um, useful access to recreation. That, that land has to be able to be accessed, or the same amount of land has to be able to be accessed at all times by, by anybody in the whole world, I guess. I don't know. But, so, is there any help? I don't know. I just popped in there today. Yeah, thank, thanks. Uh, did anybody else like this? Would you like to say something? Sure. Um, well, we nailed it. <laughs> it's perfect. So the land that, that we want to build, that, that part of the CTA, was grant funded. And what they had said is we just need to find a piece of property somewhere else and just um, say that that is for recreational use. And it doesn't have to be cleared land. They said, they said you could take a, you could have land and you could put, and this was right from the, in Concord. So we've been in, in contact with Concord for quite a few weeks trying to work through this process. They said if you had woods and you put a bench down there, and you said we're designating this area for bird watching. That's recreational use. That's fine. So you don't have to cut down trees. You don't have to do any of that stuff. You just have to say three fourths of an acre, three fourths of an acre, recreational use, and then that's what they said. They did say that it it shouldn't hold up any permits though. That's what, that's what would concern me if it would hold up permits while we're trying to work through this process. They said as long as you're looking. And it's known that this is what the end result is going to be. It shouldn't hold up any of your process of building. It's, you can go ahead and build on it. But I can get that in writing if, if the board feels it like that in writing. I, mean, I, would, I guess from my seat, I would just like to push it back to town manager board selection. Absolutely. For a legal decision. Yeah, especially if I had never heard that it's all the town's responsibility because if once that gets said, like, yeah, I'm just thinking, uh, you see, all this is, I haven't, I was just speaking with Donna, we need this in, we need things in writing, because if it truly is now the towns, and I do think that regardless of whose it is, the school has seemed very willing to partake in even some of the financial aspects of this. So, but if it is in fact the town, and pretend the school said, well, hey, it's the town, and our hands are off it, I, again, this is kind of above me. It has to go to town manager and BOS to decide the land, the cost, the use, and so and, and legal. Yeah, yeah, whatever terms of that agreement there right. are. Right. That's all and, on those. Right, and that whether is. I hold up permits or not would come from, yeah, that. So I am moving it forward. I was just, it's still on your, you know, it has to be solved one way or another. And if solving it is the town and 
the school have talked and they're in some kind of agreement even if it, and hunter says we're in an agreement it's not written or in but christina you could permit then i permit and i'll mark th that that's i'll get the email from hunter and i'll i'll add that to the the file along with the other things we're waiting for prior to permitting yeah it's as simple okay. as that but it's going and, it, and again i thought it was <coughs> and the school were bed together but whichever one whichever what legally it is i guess is who it falls on yeah, I just wanted to say that and this was brought up. You, you mentioned, you're right, they'll share the cost. But again, Bert mentioned it last week, this cost is mine. It, it's a tax base, so this has got to be a consideration. So I, 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 the, maybe the right thing to do on the board is impossible to hold up to assure that there's no cost involved. I know you're going to say there won't be with promise and all that, but you don't know down the road. You've been researching it and things like that. but. I think that, that that's that's the reason I brought it up, and I and plus I think we avoided the, perhaps the big the final penalty is that we, we, uh, if we had done this without the paperwork on the state, they can hold up grants for us for any amount of time. So yeah, did it, did it list the penalty? We'll yeah, avoid that. Yeah, I think that's there are significant. Severe. I think most of the penalties are <coughs> no further funds for anything that is to be get on the state and federal level would be forwarded to you. So actually. I mean, I don't really know how that would be. I couldn't even imagine those things coming down. But yeah, I guess that would mean the whole funding for the vocational school, which, I mean, the whole thing, I don't think anything that's going to happen. But yes, that's what they say is the penalty. Until you get this solved, we stop all funding for any project and any awarded money that here would help you stop. And any, you couldn't go for further awards, that would stop until you solve it. Again, I think it should be easy. Um, but from what Ed quoted, as long as you have an agreement in principle, then it can move forward while you're working out the details. And so, again, that's up to legal. None of, yes, this is legal, uh, and who's respond, Who's going to hold the weight of that? Because there's some value that's going to be, there's some money that's going to be put out somewhere for this. Um, whoever holds that would be up to, uh, yeah. It's, it's stated that you, could, you, could, you know, they can hold grants until there's a, there's a viable solution. So you're, you're likely right. If they say there's something that's going to be, still got to do some signatures. And it's going to be the town. It ought to be a lesson. Somebody, how that get messed is, is, is really surprises me. And uh, I, 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 had, I don't know, I'm not saying you guys are bad people for missing it. Uh, whoever went ahead and did it, the school, you, whatever. Needs to be looked into if this ever happens again. And secondly, why wouldn't that be on? Isn't that like on tax maps or a mile or anything like that? Is that brought up? Is that it, any indication on the, the property uh, records with that's there? I think just based on the footage that it took to, the footwork it took to find the documents and everything, I mean, people have changed. The shared responsibility school to town with all the land, you know, down and up through there, uh, just missed in translation. Nobody had the actual fact in front of them until. The documents were looked at? It should have been added to yeah, the registry of Sullivan County Registry of Deeds that portion of the school property was restricted, strictly restricted for recreational use. That it's not up to them to get rid of this or that or the other thing in in, in full in this area. And that could have been added and then it would have been found in a title search that there was this restriction. Um, but that I don't even know how to do that. That's that's uh, someone too great in that. Yeah, but in this case, you need to done the title search. Yeah, right? we've seen it done correctly. We saw it recently up there by Virginia Irwin's with the uh, land that was de dedicated. Right. It was recorded pr and properly. Without it being recorded, uh, then you have this dilemma. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> Ideally, it should have been recorded, and then again, I think it's going to be. I'm just was it telling you that it, the issue, the questionable issue, did come out to be an issue. Hopefully, it's really small. I'm giving it to Hunter on all the information. Yeah, and if he wants me to do legwork on working with whoever to to, to whatever, I I don't know, but it's going up that way. I think that's just the message that has to go back. Yep, yep. Christina, it's easier than walking on high heels to fix that. I know, I know, <laughs> I know. No, it's above. It's above me to decide how to figure this out. On high heels. She, you know, she, I noticed her height increase here tonight. Yes. Yeah. Well, we're talking about your choice of footwear. Okay. If there's no more questions, we'll go on to back to our original uh, uh, 
continued business, which was a request to continue from 2022 SPFP 3, North Newport L and Holdings LLC, request final review to approve a site for the property identified as map 218 lot 004. The proposal is to construct a 96 unit housing complex. The property is located on North Main Street in the Rose Zoning District. And again, that was a request to continue by the applicant. Applicant, um, chair, yes. uh, I will step down for this because of the it's, conflict, and you have a quorum. They they declined to. Um, oh, but you're talking yeah. about the withdrawal. Okay, yeah. um, but I okay. I'm. Uh, we have a date certain. So the, yes, you have to, to vote. You, you have to vote to continue, and then the date certain. And why don't I always have? I should. Is March fourteenth. No, I apologize. I believe there's, I think it's March 21st is our date uh, next month. We had to move it back a week. That isn't town meeting, is it? March 14th. No, it's, yes, it is. No, not for you guys. School meeting, school board. Oh, okay, so we moved it to March. It's March 21st at 6 p.m. is the date, sir, and to continue if you, if you approve a continuance. I'll make a motion that we continue case 2022-SPFP-3 until March 21st, 23. Second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Yes. Was the time given? No. 6 p.m. 6, 6 p.m. Here. Please include. Thank you. Okay, we'll come back there again. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed? <laughs> Any abstentions? The ayes have it. Okay. Uh, going on to new business, we'll start with 2023 SPFP 1, 169 Sunapee Street, LLC. Owner Ron DeCola, agent, requests final review to approve site plan for the property identified as map 114, lot 032. The proposal is a new construction for a multi unit housing complex. The property is located at 21 Cross Street in the industrial zoning district. There's also the large scales um, of these. Those? These are the, the large. I don't, I don't know if there's room or you want that. I think this is for just the addition, right? No, this, this is, is for a whole, whole new again? complex. Okay. Maybe you want the large ones open. Well, it's the same as this in here, right? It is. I just didn't know. Sometimes there's two. There's there's multiple sets. It is absolutely the same. And I did give additional handout of elevation and floor plans up the, the in front on the top. Christina, can you hear me? Yes, Ron, I can. They're still reviewing. Uh, but jo John can put that up on the, sc the big screen if you'd like him to. It will make it easier for the board members. You know what? It's unfortunate. I can't. Oh, I did get it on. Do you want to see this? <coughs> yeah, we just need to, uh, you have to enable for screen sharing for me. Here's another part of it. And I gave you that. Yeah. That's the entrance and egress is going to be fine. Not the whole thing. It's just, yeah, it's good. We've already proved the whole weaver. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's a river. Yeah. We have a building <laughs> over here. Yeah. This is a building down here. Yeah. All the building. All the lot layout. All the everything. Oh, there are no building cars. There's a lot line, there's a yeah. footprint of the building, there's yeah. nothing else. I if cannot, I can't, I don't know how you can do it. It's not complete. It's if, not you, if you look on this page, this page with I think it's like 10 pages in, Dave, so it here. shows oh. the two u separate units. Uh -huh. yeah. two. One will be on, the new one's on Central so Street. Same piece of property. I thought no, no, no. Corner. No, it's 
same piece of property. Okay. Yeah. But this is a new structure, I think, which I don't know if there's a problem with it, but the submission doesn't have building plans. So we don't know. <coughs> That's what I mean. Yeah. I did submit I did submit a checklist and they seem to have everything besides DES application. Obviously you can disagree with me, but I did get copies of the checklist. So that's why I was going through the checklist and on it on one of them it's got three so go. Mylar, not applicable. It's applicable to the building. We don't have Mylar for, uh, until it's approved, we have to make the Mylar. Okay. And, and then submit it to the, to the registry. But, because they were so expensive, we, ha we had, I usually brought them in after you approved. And if it, whether it's this meeting or another meeting, uh, I would bring it after, I would have, For instance, you, know, you got highway with their comment, the last one, need full set of construction plans. I don't know how fire can look at this and approve it without a full set of construction plans. We don't have a full submission. What was high, what was high, you don't ask for full set of construction plans under. I'm just reading the comments that are on there. <coughs> Well, actually, this is a state road, so highway department, I don't know if they would want, they have can actually request a traffic impact study. That would be DOT. I think impact for pedestrians would all, and sidewalks would also be the oversight of DOT. And I also think that full set of construction plans are done when you come to permit. So that seems like an odd, all those seem like somewhat of an odd request considering it's a state road. Water and sewer would obviously have, and they did have plans in there for water and sewer, and to follow any town ordinances. But yeah, this is a Central Street's a state road. The highway department is act, asking for a traffic impact study uh -huh. and the pedestrian traffic, sidewalks, street lighting, and a set of plans. Because evidently they're going to tie into town. Again, the traffic. I think that would. I think that would be DOT's request. It's a state road, so I don't think it's the purview now. If you guys want a try, I think it would be DOT requesting that. Uh, this, the town highway department has no oversight on Central Street. It's department. It's so that's okay. that's a state highway. I thought Sunapee yes. Street was the state so highway. Central is a, is a state road, and so they don't have any oversight to add unless. And now I will say the state might ask for a traffic study themselves. The state might ask wrong. Oh no, they already got approval. They already got approval from DOJ. Christina, Christina, may I, may I request something with the board? And, and can, would you allow us to make our presentation? I think we can clear up a lot of your questions if we are allowed to make our presentation. They're just going through your paperwork, I believe, Ron. And then I think they're going to clear it up. I think okay. they're. I think. Well, I think some questions, and we can answer them. I know. I agree. Probably way better than I. I. Oh, sure. Christina, that section, 
what they're going to use for their driveway. Um, that's the real rail, all the rail trail, part of the rail trail. I mean, it's, is there any covenants or anything dealing with that section of, of old for the road? driveway? For air, well, well, for the no, for the rail trail. For the uh, for the railroad bed. For the walkway for section. Um, the railroad bed. Where the railroad used to be, that's going to be their driveway. Again, the driveway was approved by DOT. I know, but, but they saying. can't go on to this, what the state has taken as right away for that yeah. but, but wouldn't DOT then not, uh, that's DOT? They wouldn't know unless they looked at a... But they're the, but that's their state. They do the road. They were looking at the road, not the driveway access. They actually did. They where, do, where that is what they do, the driveway <laughs> access. That's how you get a driveway permit for, for Central Street. But they wouldn't be considering that that was the old railroad bed. So, so the entry to Central Street is the old railroad bed? Yes. Okay, I can look it into through, it. It goes through New Merritt and across Main Street and down around so the depot. So let, let me issues. call DOT and see if they rescind their approval. I don't even know if that's part of it. Maybe that section isn't owned by the state or something. I don't know. I'll have to ask. Yeah. That would be up to them because it's, it's the state approving a driveway permit on state land. So, but I will broach it with them and see if there was a mistake made. Typically, DOT is pretty thorough, but again, I can call them and question their approval if you'd like. Well, the state, the state approved it, so who would get in trouble? The state. <laughs> so I mean, you're kind of in a catch-22. But I will call them. I will call them. Putting two property, two buildings on the same property in two different locations that are going to have, have two different addresses because the entrance and egress are on two different roads. Don't you have to subdivide that property if you're going to have two addresses? Depending on that zone. Nobody's going to know what. It's to industrial. Go. Yeah. If a fire gets called, then how are they going to know what building it is? Yeah, the pro property is 21 so the cross on the other one, really and this one's going to be central. On one one address will be cross, yeah. and one will be central. Yeah. But you can, you just have to look at that zone. I think there's another, and there's another issue with flat fire had a problem with the road with the access, access around. Yeah. Well, if you look at the, the river side, the river 50 feet from the river comes right up to the back edge of that road. So another one of my questions for this, I mean, we don't have building sections or anything. We don't know height area. We do have a height limitation. We don't have a height on this building. Um, we don't have any plans that indicate anything. We got a picture from somewhere. Uh, we have floor plans, but that's all we have. So I can't it is complete until we get those plans. And we can't copycat what we did at the other building because it's a different building. I think they do have the elevation uh, of this structure. Where? On the bigger maps? I'm not sure. I, if that's one of the, if that's one, is there any other sticking point, an elevation number? Because if that's the only, I would It's ask not a number for, either. It's, a, it's an understanding of the building because like fire has already stated, he's got to get access around three sides. If this building's 40 feet high, then that. All I was saying, that. all I was saying is, I could ask if if they have this in the paperwork, or, or if you're going to not accept it as complete because of that fire. They're doing that if they if they have that, but um, that was it. But or I guess accept it or have it. <coughs> and all I see on here is the elevation of the primary floor above the parking deck at 797. I don't see any elevated floors at all. 
Well, he said, I mean, the tire looks at it to get around. You now, if he's got to get a truck around the backside, a ladder, can he reach of what he's got? Um, those kind of concerns come in. John? John? It's garage floor. John Rokey? Yeah. John, you were going to get me elevation yep. numbers today. Correct or no? I have I have everything as a PDF that I can put up on the screen right now. The, the, the elevation of the outside of it, all the different floor plan levels, everything. I thought that was in this packet. So it's in the packet you sent me, I don't have the elevation numbers? Or... But yeah, if you could put that up, that'd be great. Or maybe send it to my email and I could print it out. I thought it was in this packet you sent me. I do have the floor plans, but I don't necessarily see the elevation. Yeah, the uh, the architect finalized stuff uh, this afternoon. I have, I, I, he sent it to us, and Ron and I have it in our presentation thing that I was going to put up on the screen to show you guys. Okay, well, I needed the elevation for there. I needed the elevation. Uh, so, yeah, I'd put that up on the screen, or if you could send it to me. And I can't, you, have to allow, you have to allow me to do a screen share. I can't. I can't oh, okay, share. hold on. He's got to be able to see if he understands that this is this high, free floor, or free floor. I mean, like he, said, he doesn't have complete information. Uh, hold on, how do I do this? I think I have to make you the host. Okay, John, you should be all set. Before this goes too long and getting it here for this meeting, that violates the public's right to know and review beforehand when the application is put in, it should be complete. If it's not complete, this has to be continued. Okay. I, that's Exactly. Right. Yeah. <coughs> so to try and get it today over to us is in fact violating the whole intent of the process. I. So it's just the elevator. So I'm just trying to get what you're missing. We need building plans. Building plans. <laughs> we need elevations. We need floors. We need. Floor you plans. have the floor plans. Right. We need that just set. To, just so the ground floor. Review it in whole. You know, the fire chief looking at it in two plan and. He looked at it already. Okay, so so I'm I'm a little lost on the floor plans because I need to know what to ask them. So we need a plan set, a building plan set. Floor plans, elevations. Okay, the floor heights. The floor plans are right here. So what opposed to this? Do you so tell me on the floor plans? Do we get over forty feet? Can you tell? Well, that's elevation. So we're missing elevation. I've got that. I, you said floor plans. So, yeah, that's in the floor plans. It's and, all, all brought in at once. And, fine. We're and missing elevation. And this picture as an elevation is not a plan submission. Okay, so the elevation we have. We've got the floor plan, so we need elevation. That's what we're missing. I agree. Elevation in is a dimension, but this is called elevations north, south, east, west. Uh -huh. So that you can look at the character of the building and all of that so that we purview. Okay, yep. Yeah. Okay. And what else was so that's it? That's it, just the elevations and then. You know, so where are the utilities coming in? Water, sewer? Water. I think that's all in the plants. On page. Mr. Chairman, we have all this ready to go if you just let us make our presentation. You if have we don't have it, we can't make a decision. We that's can't even that. accept that's it. Why, that's why this is frustrating. You have the sewer construction <laughs> details. You have the you have the um, you have the stop signs. You have the um, you have the slope stabilization, grass lines, construction sequence. So you have all the sewer. Let's see. Hold on. This is just a mini of that one anyway. Yeah, you have the utility trenches, the lighting. So so this is almost identical to a plan that was approved about a year ago, what was submitted here. Matter of fact, here this has more information, more detail in it. 
So that's why I'm slightly confused at how you accepted it, where it's, that's why I just need it so I can help them so they can move forward next month. But we can, I could always do that outside of this office. I believe in that submission, we had building plans that showed, they had, we had complete elevations that showed, because the neighbors were there saying, I've got to look at this thing that's three stories high that I'm looking at. I've got I concerns, and we talked about those concerns. I've got we were missing the elevation. That's absolutely true. Besides that, do we have everything else? From a civil perspective, it looks fine. But oh, okay. Then that's fine. That, that's it. You're right. We did not get the elevation. Christina, there's not a checklist um, for um, um, applications. There is, and I have it submitted. And. Uh, does it have in it the elevations? I believe so, and let's it's, see. It says that drainage, exterior lighting, plans for water, power, telephone, well, water pipes, power and telephone poles and lines. Number seven. Conceptual and conceptual plans, floor plans, exterior, exterior elevations. Unless waived of all proposed structures on the site. Yes, exterior elevations, and I did. And they've got I did check so off I, as the yes, and we don't have that. You don't have. You have everything but the elevations. Yes, that's true. The conceptual floor plans, and yes, we have. So it's still the elevations. Christine, I want to make one more point. The whole reason. Okay. The whole reason for having the process uh, mailed out to the abutters um, and for the public view is usurped if, in fact, information comes here that wasn't available before. So even if it could be here in the next five minutes, the hearing cannot go forward. End of story. So a Absolutely. There have been exceptions made if something's missing to bring it in or not approve it until they get that, but that's absolutely fine. You're right. If everything is not on the checklist mat, you can state that it's incomplete or state to, wa to waive it to next time, but I, I agree. So six on the checklist, 6, 7, and 14. So 6 is the... Shape, size, and well, they've got of existing and proposed. They've got the shape and the location of the structure. We have a shape in this part. We don't have oh, right. The, that's the elevation. So we're back to the elevation, so and then that, what was so the seven is elevations, and then you said then four, we have exterior lighting. It's on page seven. But as we experienced with the bank down the street, if all of a sudden lights show up on the side of this building, which we don't have elevations for, we can't review that. So the 14 comes in as well. They have that on page seven. I thought they had the lighting. No. Anyways, for those reasons, I was pleased. that we do not ex accept 2023 SPFP-1 as complete for item 6714 of the checklist. Could you please be a little more specific with 6? Six? Six. 6, item 6, the shape, size, and location. So we have flat plans. We show one floor. We don't show all the floor. We don't show the height area of this building. Roof profile, none of it, which lends yourself to item seven, which is also conceptual plans, floor plans, elevations, etc. And then 14, anything that's like lighting that shows up on the exterior of this building cannot be approved unless you see it on those elevations. Because case in point, the bank where we had the sconces on the side of the building that were direct light, that for that reason we need to see those as well. Well, absolutely, and those, but those weren't a fault of um, the planning board. That was actually a fault of of the planning and zoning. We need department. to see what their intent is for what they're doing, and we cannot reference another building, another case, 
No, there's not as, referencing anything. So, well, okay. Earlier in the conversation, we said it's like the other one on the same property. Well, that doesn't apply. It's a different building. It's a different submission. So, so six, seven, fourteen. So do that's you? So you want new floor plans, though? Because well, that's seven. Well, so and they also have to uh, because I go have by the fire department's review, and they said they can get to one and a half sides. They need access to three complete sides of the building, which means that may change the elevations. Okay. The backfill. So they can take these comments from the departments as a preliminary review and apply them so when the submission comes in, they've answered those questions. But you're deeming the floor plans that were submitted today are not adequate. Just and, for and my. They were not on adequate. time. They were given okay, to fine. Us today. Fine. So adequate. Okay. So that was the motion. Sure. And if you can get a hold of uh, the highway department and see if they're aware of the rail trail encroachment. This isn't their oversight, but I guess I could ask them, yes. Yeah, they're approving an access over they're not, the rail trail. They're not approving it. It's DOT is approving it. It's That's what I said. Oh, I thought you said high. Oh, the highway department right. at the state level. Yes, absolutely. Wouldn't that be shown on the local tax maps? It should. It may be the easiest way to do it rather than trying to get through the state. Just check the tax map and see if it's there any better. If in fact they're doing, if in fact they're doing anything with the rail trail, they have to go through what was the old dread Department of Recreation. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Because they are the now owners of it, the state of New Hampshire. Yes, but what department? Dread. But that, well, that's what happened in Claremont when they opened it up over there. They, they you can't even put a sign on it. That whole strip of Washington Street from Reeves to. I am the definitely going to call DOT the whole, the if they made a mistake in approving this driveway. I will get a the reason I can get across it is because in 1870 when they built it. Uh, they gave up two right away, so I have two passages to go over outside of that. Yeah. Okay, we have a motion. Do we have a second? No. I'll second it. We have a second by Terry. Uh, Ray. Ray. <laughs> I think it's the mobile. <laughs> uh, okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Any abstentions? Yeah, the ayes have it, and we will not accept it as complete. Mr. Chairman? Yes, sir. Mr. Chairman, I, I believe we have a right to uh, have a say here, but I know this is the same being postponed, but I believe we have a right to say I want to read a couple things into the record, please. Go ahead. <clears throat> First of all, uh, we would like to believe that our submission was complete, so I'm very shocked to hear this. Uh, the fact that we were not allowed to do our presentation uh, prevented us from answering a lot of the board's justifiable questions. We could have answered every one of your questions, but we were not allowed to. And number three, Mr. Spaulding recused himself, and yet he came in and participated in the meeting. I want that right on the record, and I want that known that we object to that uh, strenuously. We'll be back next, and we'll be glad to go over this with you again, and it, the presentation is going to be the same. But we're just a little frustrated that we're not allowed. We don't feel that we were given due process here, Mr. Chairman. We cannot allow you to go on with a presentation if we do not deem it complete. That's the law. That's the way it is. I'm sorry, but no, I, three I of those things were checked off that we're not here. I'm sorry. Even the fire department didn't know how to get around the building. It, everything wasn't there for them. Mr. Chairman, yes. Mr. Spaulding does have a right to participate as a private citizen. That's correct. Yes, and I want to make that point but, myself. But, but the hearing was never open. How can you participate if the hearing was never open? All I have to do is be recognized by the chairman. Sir, you are not God here. The chairman is. That's, that's all that we have. He was okay, not, he sir, was not weighing in uh, on uh, your uh, unit. You just telling them what, where to go and what to see. And Dredd okay, is the you. department that's in charge of that rail trail. Okay, uh, thank you. We'll be back next month. I'll record it with Christina tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So this can go with this. Take that, take that.
something in the last machine and get the keys. And okay, our next right order of business is 2023 SDFP-1. Taylor made owner requests a final review for a minor subdivision property identified as map 231, lot 031, located at 417 Bradford Road in the Rural Zoning District. And do we have the presenter? Je uh, the owner, Taylor made is going to be presenting tonight. Okay, so it's a it's the lot line test, so everything is there. Right. So we have a motion to accept. So move. Second. Ray, move. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Her move. Her move. Her second. Her second. Sounds like you. Sure. <laughs> Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Any abstentions? The ayes have it. And you may oh. have a floor. <laughs> Thanks for the entertainment. <laughs> we consider it an obligation. It is. Are you going to present? Yeah. You have to present your application. Yeah, we just opened. Yeah, we just you opened have to it. present oh, wow. the application. <laughs> <laughs> you, no you literally have to give the presentation. <laughs> so we, you don't. We, we, we got, don't we got have, them saying no. they don't want to. They don't want to go away. And they don't. don't literally. Wait, I know. I didn't know what. <laughs> so I no, so what you could do is if you don't have much to say about it, although maybe whoever could speak better. I know Jenny and I have spoken this. The big, the big issue is to work out with the neighbor uh, to, to take a uh, non-compliant lot and make it compliant. We want a little extra land. Absolutely. That's exactly right. So this is where we already have the building just Sorry. built. Yeah. You know, okay, this is there. this is the original lot. Yeah. Here. So worked out with Sharon to acquire this piece of property, which actually was like this way. Mm -hmm. And we took this much, made this compliant, and left that much of that to make that lot compliant. Okay. So, so that uh, is what the state wants for the septic. So you're making a non-complying lot compliant. compliant, and you're not affecting one and making it non-compliant. So that's where the surveyor came in. We uh, we messed around with this uh, post to give us a little more driveway, and then he said, "Let's see if we can do it." He did the calculations, and everything met the spec. So yeah. it's good news. So A and B are going to lot 31, and the rest is staying with yeah, yeah. this one, lot 30. Yeah. And this one over here. So they both comply, and the state's happy, and the county's happy. So everything we can do, you know. <laughs> any, other, any other comment? I'll open it to the public. Is there any questions or comments from the public? Seeing and hearing none, I'll come back to the board. What you propose? They both comply? Yes. They have the proper road frontage? In that in that area, I believe that's got town water and sewer, doesn't it? Oh, it doesn't? It, no, it, it doesn't. doesn't. And the original, the, uh, the four, 417, which is, uh, is the one that just shows foundation and driveway. Okay. Has um, neither of them comply with road frontage for the for the rural zone. So with that said, they're legal non-conforming in regards to road frontage. Oh yeah. In regards to road frontage, when Taylor made, I apologize, I don't know your first name. 
or your last. I know Jenny's. <laughs> I apologize. When this gentleman stated that, I think yeah. he was talking in regards to overall size of, of the property. But but 417 was legal nonconforming prior to, he, they didn't have to do this. Yeah. They made it more conforming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. More, and they didn't decrease the conformity, if that's a word, of the other lot. They didn't decrease how non-conforming it is, because yeah, yeah they, it's they, just the frontage. They, they went, they went from a hundred to a hundred and forty-seven point six frontage. Well, we got a driveway permit, right? Yeah. Yeah, so everybody knows. Yeah. Yeah. You had a driveway permit years and years and years yes. ago. Yes. Yes, you're you're legal non-conforming, and, and the other, the other lot is legal because it has 70, uh, 93, 93 on that one, and 140 feet on Sunshine Court, which is a private road. So that's good. So grandfathered status of the of the entrance, um, and making the lot conforming. So if you had uh, two broken arms, he fixed you know, one of them uh, had been that way so long, you're gonna leave it that way, and the other, <laughs> the other one he's fixing. <laughs> Actually, wait, I'd like to correct. I made a mistake. The original property is conforming. I apologize because the road frontage is Sunshine Court. It's it's the 417 that has become more conforming with this added land. That's what I stated. Right, sorry. I stated they were both not conforming. That is not true. The one is fully conforming. Okay. Do we have a motion? Yeah, motion to approve. Um, I don't have anything with its number on here. You read, you read the number we're going to have? The 2023 SDFP-1. Tyler? Taylor. May, tell me. I'll second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Any abstentions? The ayes have it. Now it's okay. Now it's okay. okay. I'll send you a formal notification. You want to see signed can or you want to wait for my I love those signed. And does anyone have a Sharpie? Although I don't think on this we need Sharpies. We don't. Oh, we also will need a Mylar to submit. Chris had mentioned. He's, they usually, everyone waits to make sure there's no assessments. Absolutely. I don't, we don't so have bring a... bring it in whenever. Okay. We don't have a stamp. Yeah, there's one. I don't know, we don't have a there's title law. There's not. Oh, it's just not. Well, these are for us anyway. Can we yeah. go here and here? Absolutely. Sign wherever you want if that's right. what you're worried about. And if you could do both, that'd be great. And uh, you're right, we don't have to use the Sharpie on these. It's on the other Okay, so we're all set here. And we can be like Leonardo. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, buddy. So just sign wherever. You can sign wherever you want. In that lower corner. Right, I know. Yeah. Anywhere right here, except, except for where the with, chairperson in, in the may have to sign <laughs> yeah. there. Yeah. So I'll sign, sign that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you're okay, and I'm out of line. So, uh, all right, I'm going to go here. Can't read mine anyway. So when you go there, I'll go behind you again. That's supposed to be black to be legal. Oh, no, we're not a sign. Yeah, we're not a sign. 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 we are just to make sure I have to copy your signature it's never very good <laughs> and this is probably the first time I've ever gotten the signatures accurately too I mean, I'm actually uh, Auto that Auto Auto yeah autograph oh. autograph signature yeah. autographs so ahead of time and the mylar hopefully I'll have I should have by next month. and I'll obviously bring it up I have that, that can go in I think this, is, this is that that's that yep. I think it all came with it yep Okay, perfect. Okay, our next order of business is 2023 SDFB-2 Sheridan Mead 
owner, Patrick Dombrowski, agent, requested final review for a minor subdivision property was identified as map 260, lot 001, located at 480 Unity Road in the Rural Zoning District, and a request to continue by the applicant. I think there was some slight missing of like a right of way or something, but I'm not sure. So I believe there were some alterations and you just asked to have it continued. I need to step down. Okay. But well, we're not going to see it anyway. You're going to vote on We're just, just going to continue. Vote on. All right. I'll make a motion that we continue. Oh, 2023 SDFP-2 to 6 p.m. 321-23. Bingo. We have a second. Second. And we have a second. All of the favor say aye. 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 All of the opposed. Any abstentions? Radio. One abstention. Be ready. Okay. <laughs> Minutes for January 2023. <laughs> I will second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Any abstentions? All abstain. One abstention. I was, an, I was an aye, but I want to make a comment. Yeah. I read these things very, very detailed. Mm -hmm. And every word in here passed as a fact checker. I, uh, she blew me away this time. Everything. <laughs> More, that's a lot of words in there. A lot of everything, and it's really good, Mark. Yeah, cool. Good moderator, too. Wow, good moderator, too. I thought so. Yes, yeah. She, she stood right there, non tired, ready to pull me away from the mic or anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Back to administration, uh, the master plan survey. We need to either approve or Modify. One thing I will say is I've called, I've I've gotten a quote, which just doesn't really include you guys, but it, it is money. Uh, we're mailing to, there's 4,000 dwellings. I think there's 3,996 dwellings in Newport presently listed by the United States Postal Service. Uh, getting a service to do this because it's pretty cumbersome. Uh, I, I have a quote for roughly $3,000 to mail uh, one of one of these with two envelopes, one for a return that would have our return, and then uh, and then the original envelope. I think they're going to put something on it like you know help. You know I don't I forget what he said. It said a good like help frame your town or help help decide where your town goes something like that. Like so people like me be more intrigued to open it, kind of a for the survey inside. And so that came to like three thousand dollars, and they would do all the printing, they would do all you know the folding of the paper, stuffing the two envelopes, mailing, and then we would have to pay for every. Oh no, that they would have to put a stamp on it, or they could drop it off at. Uh, we have places I'm gonna have the offices to drop it off at too. And I'm gonna try to do an online survey that people can go online and do it. But that, and I plan on doing that with whatever you approve. I'll ma I'll mimic it. Is there any possible way to do it at an insert to the Newport Times? Uh. Uh, and just what in like an envelope with the return put, put envelope? Yeah, put it in with an envelope. And then not do any mailings. I don't know. Exactly. I'd have Everybody to ask that. the New York. Supposed New to go out to every address in Newport. Whether they get it or not, sometimes it's yeah. Who up for, up for grabs? And what I would hate to see it, the Newport Times thrown away if anyone did, and it be inside it. Uh, no, I think 
this is important and it's I think cool. it should be a stand. It's it's be stand the the, yeah. the postage is actually really cheap. It's only like that's only like seventeen cents a, a the post because it's this weird. It's to every, there's no it's to every resident in unit one to whatever, and that's cheap. It's the copies and the two envelopes and then the paper and making the copies. And again, if we recall what not that this is. The, they're the the gold standard, but if you recall what the Upper Valley was going to charge for this, it was easily double uh, the price. Again, I could get I could get more, but uh, more prices. But that's kind of just an internal. Uh, yeah, I just I think it's a it's one of our missions, and we have to do it. Absolutely, and I so. think I think I'd like it if we can either make changes tonight and then approve on these changes. I love these. You see, if I even wrote in April 1st as a mailing date, because I'd love to get these out. And then, obviously, I will fill in the little X's because I've got to get that survey online first to visit that place. And then I would, I do think, you're right, I just realized this. I guess it would have to be decided tonight yeah, I think of the public that, hearing. What is this? Uh it says Richard School. Pineboro will host a community forum at Richard School. It doesn't. Know. It doesn't have to be. That's where they were held last time. So it's a larger forum yeah. for a public. We do have to hold, I think, at least one public hearing, and and for 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 vocally c communicating on the master plan, and so we wanted that. That was in the last survey. And oh shoot, 2023. I saw a mistake already. 2020, right at the top. Um, yeah. that, that, uh, we, c we could come up with a date so it goes out, or I could just nix that, but it would be a great thing to go out if people wanted to, att we have to post a public forum okay. and then have schedule you, that. That's the Has best the superintendent place. approved? The Richard School? Yeah. The use of the Richard School? No. I mean, I'm sure I could get that checked out tomorrow if you guys came up with a date so, or so you're going under the assumption that we would we would overflow this room that's what was done last time although or you could just have it have it here if it's an if and we're, we're not thinking that it's like birch possibly not overflowing this room I and that might I be easy i don't believe we need an auditorium <laughs> yeah, right. Bert, and, and I don't believe we need to go beyond this room. You know, Bert might be right, and that would make my look, that would make, because I could easily email you guys out tomorrow what dates work say. do you think work best for you, <laughs> and we probably wouldn't do them if this went out we April got, we 1st, and we wait 60 days for things to come back, April, May, we could either have an open form in May, because that might also perk people's interest in filling this out if they still have it shoved in a corner. Or May or June. I would. I think May would be a better time. Well, May would be a good time to have this have the town meeting. Have surveys there. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. For it, we could have extra surveys, and I could have a little bin. They could. They can bring them to my office. They can request them if they didn't get one at my office. Absolutely. The. So let's oh, let's change the Richard School to. To here. to here. Perfect. I've got that. Then that's easy. And. and room. Now, are we talking the deliberative session? Or are we talking the all-day voting session? This is just the open forum for a discussion on the topics for the. It won't be. It'll, it'll just. It'll be a standalone meeting. Yeah, just so open yeah. master plan, open forum for public comment. Okay, and when she mentioned that they could, uh, what they could do with the documents and etc., it's, uh, uh, it's going to be its own entity. And I was just, someone said if at the deliberative session oh, there could be copies thing. of this for people to fill out if they wanted to, I could have them there. Yeah. Yeah. If they missed day. out. They're thinking town at that day, that's all. I, I mean, as long as, long, as long as that due date is after. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and there could oh, be yeah. people that one person in a household, like say a husband and a wife, or one wants to fill it out and another one has a different opinion. And they, in theory, they both should be able to fill out a survey for where they want to. So, the, so, with the, so item C should be like June 1, then? Yeah. Jackie, better know. Instead so of you, April. Item C. C. Okay, C. please complete. Yes, you're right. Okay, wait. It's February. No, what? I made a mistake. I apologize. I wanted these to potentially go out for in, in like two weeks if we can get it approved. So then that would be March. 
Oh, it should be it should be May first, which would give sixty days. Right, but if we want to have these delivered, we got to wait till after that. So right. That's right. what I'm saying June first. Okay. So and then do we want to? Tr okay, so let's go June one. Uh, the take the survey online. That's me. Change it to the BOS room, yeah. and I could send these out too before and I give a final if anyone sees an error. Oh, so so the first one's in April. Yeah. And oh, and the voting. You've got May. thirty days to yeah, yeah, yeah. vote. So, so it could be May one. When would you? When do you think it would be good to have so we could get it on this paperwork, the public open forum? In so we're, we're trying to get it in a, in so in April it, or May. We can do have it May. Yeah. Okay, so the May, your meeting in May, we have town meeting in May, right? That's on Tuesday, right? Correct. Yeah, but that's just the voting you said, though, right? But the April one is the deliberative. That's the one you're... Correct. Right. So we c you meet on the 16th normally for your normal meeting in May. We could have it the 23rd or the 30th in this room, and I could double-check to make sure no one else is in this room in May, but I think... I, I think it's probably open. I could, I could double-check the 20th or the 30th for the open forum. Maybe the 30th, just I'll to give us more time. Oh, shit. Do the, we'll do the 23rd. Do that. Okay, yeah, do let's the do the 23rd. We have a 21st meeting, though. We have a 16th oh, meeting. Oh, Never mind. I'm sorry. We have a May, May 16th meeting. You want to just say we have, uh, let, and I'll make sure this works, the 23rd, because I'd like it on here. And then if I can get these, I can get these mailed by, by like, February 28th, like, by the end of the month. Which would be nice because we really wanted January first, so we're two months behind, but that's all right. So let me do Tuesday, May twenty third. At six p. At six p.m. in the BOS room, which then I don't have to. I could double check that myself. June first, and they also will help me maybe tighten this up a little. It'll look the same, not that the wording, but maybe we won't have so many spaces in between and stuff, it'll look a little neater. Yeah, I think with those changes, we can go ahead and clean it up. First page. It out. Yeah, okay, so then... Um, I think this is a lot more livable for people to do, rather that last one was a horror show. That was like a term paper. It was, yeah, like, uh, yeah it's a, it was homework for sure. Okay, this is great. Excuse me, Mr. Chair. Yes. Um, on B, take the survey online by visiting, or is that just going to be next? It would be visiting. Um, well, you have to put the website. I've got to get. Yeah. I've got to get the link, and it's going to be on. And I, I, people have told me how to do this. I have to do like an LRQ. So it's going to be on the website, and then it will be click on the LRQ code, and then you fill it out and you submit. Eek. So, and the word visiting, not visit, online by visiting, I think, would be the proper English. So would it be under the um, uh, planning board um, web page? I don't know. I'd probably put it on the main, it's town master plan. I'd, I'd like it on the front page, but if they don't allow me to, I'll put it under the planning board page. Yeah, the prior one was I mean, it would be nice. T-I-N-Y-U-R-L.com. What was it? T-I-N-Y-U-R-L dot com. T-M. Oh, I guess it might be T-M. T-M-N-Y? It's a dot. Okay, well, I'll, I'll fit. And then, again, I think it would be nice to have it on the top page. So, newport, newhampshire.net. Oh, um, thank you. I mean, oh yeah, tiny URL. I have no idea what that is. That's the online survey. <laughs> someone, so I should know how to do this. Gosh darn it! If someone knew how to do it in 2010, so I'm going to figure that out. Okay, that seems easy enough then. Econ developer. Oh, that's where it was. Done. That's you're right. The econ. This, you know what? Who did this? That's why it's this weird. The upper bat, we paid a fortune for this last time yeah. because they did the whole was, thing. Yeah, that's was. why. I'm like, who knows? That's why we ended up with a book. Okay, so I'll give this back. Thank you. You can burn it. Okay, thanks.
I'll, I should be able to figure it out pretty easily to link okay. it. Do I have a motion? I actually have one yeah. comment. Um, number five or question five. Yes. Where it talks about uh, would you like to see or see more of businesses and services that you would like to see more of in Newport? I'm assuming that second block of questions there is where you would like to see said businesses and or services? Yeah, that's a good, that's a good, that's right. What's missing there? Community land use economic development. So, right. There's a freaking question missing. Okay, hold on, hold on. We should be able to find it in what, um, what, uh, Ken just gave me. It's six. Wait, hold on. Nope, six is there. To what extent do you agree? Seven and eight are there. Could that just no, be? No, it just said. I think it's it's like. Could you just make that five A? Where if you if you take that block and superimpose it to the bottom of number five and in that gray space, where? Would you like to see it? It's like a continuation. Or just yeah. write five. I I agree, maybe. Or I could just do six. The other numbers could change, but I think they, they work in tandem. Yeah, Where that. mostly would you like to see development, I guess? Yeah. Um, let's see. That would be question on the on the original. Yeah. Uh, question seven and eight. Where in Newport would you like to see development? Yes. In, uh, yeah, development. That's what it, that's what it okay, was so it was, and it was question number seven. Now, do we want, why don't we just make it, do, do you think it could be question 5A because it correlates? Okay, do you guys all agree with that? Okay, 5A, I like that, and, and I'm going to write, where in Newport would you like to see development? That's what I'm going to pose the question. Yep. If we're done, if we're done with that question. What have you got for a question? Um, well, every 10 years we have to um, update the master plan, and so we've got to look forward. And I wonder if we've addressed uh, uh, the locations for uh, uh, the homeless people in the tent uh, compounds. Uh, what was this? I, I don't I think we did the last said. time. We're going to put them in the tiny houses down the river. Oh, I thought that was a I missed, was this a joke that I missed? You didn't, you, didn't, you didn't hear my question. I didn't okay. hear it. Well, it's 10 years that we have to do this. Yes. And the, the way things are changing, yes. that we, have, have we got any plans in here where we would allow the homeless people to put their tents up? Well, actually, I hear homeless people are held at the Ritz-Carlton's or the fanciest hotels in the area from what other states are now doing. So I don't think we would have worrisome of that. Okay, well, I, it's, I hope everybody listening gets that as humor. <laughs> or, and mine was too, Outside although mine's show, reality, like, not humor. Um, absolutely, I think I'm going to re-forward these out. Then when I do get this, these people to do it, I think they're going to make it look a little prettier. And I think it's either even going to be on a little bigger size paper. And then I'll just show you what it looks like. But no wording will be changed. No wording and no no organizational form. Like it won't all of a sudden you won't see something before the other. Nothing like that. It just I think it might look a little prettier. But obviously nothing uh, nothing changes in in organization of it. And thank you for that one thing that was kind of hanging out there. And I like it being five A because it correlates. But don't lighten it up too much. It needs to look it needs to look business like. It needs to oh. look more important than it means it needs to look pretty. Oh, I wasn't trying to make it look pretty. I was trying to I think it could look more professionally done than what's he, what's here. That's what I meant. So it would look more more business like than than our project. That's what I was kind of thinking. That's my my opinion. And some of it is like the roughed in I don't know. It's a rough draft. Rough, I think they could make it look a little tighter, professional. But that I would show you too. And again, it good good space units might might cut down the cost. I a think little he, bit. well, I think they're going to have yeah fewer pages and um. And I'll also tell you what they're going to write on the outside because I think they do this with a lot of towns and they just they had a really good saying and I'm like so it catches people's eyes and I'm like oh that's great and now I can't remember it so I'll let you know it's like 
contribute to the future of your town or have input, be involved, you know, be involved in, in Newport's future, something like that. I thought it, I thought it could catch people's eye. I thought it was a great idea. That's okay. it on my well, side. Do we have a motion to a no, accept it. I make a motion that we, upon final draft edits, as discussed tonight, that we um, accept an issue. Okay, so meaning it comes back to us. It comes back to us for that final review, yep. per what we talked about, and then if it's good, then we... Via email. Via email. email yeah, yeah that, and that I haven't made any clear, absolutely, and then, because I just want to try to get this out. Yep, absolutely. Thank you. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Mike seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Any abstentions? Ayes have it. Thank you for your time and effort putting this all together. I've done like a year and a half. I know. I know. Well, I just, right. I know. Trust well, me. Well, the 10 years is when, when you got to do it. It doesn't say that's when you've got to finish it. The finish line can be moved. That's right. I did hear him talking about in the Board of Selectmen budget meeting that they did have a line item for master plan. So you might have money in the program. Did they had a lot? I did mention to Hunter that I had about a three thousand dollar fee. Was that the line item? Uh, I don't recall if it had any money in it. I think there was a line no, item, was a, but I don't know if there was any dollar amount in on the line. He didn't balk when I said, and I actually think the price is pretty, that's less, do it, and it's less, it's 75 cents a, a, a delivery with the return envelope. They're doing the NRI for the, for the Conservation Commission, so and that's going to be part of the master plan, the town master plan, so. Did you get a robocaller? Okay. <laughs> All right. We had a, that's it for administration. Communications, any other communications to the board? I'll accept public import. Seeing and hearing none, well, we did, will come back to the board. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make a motion that we adjourn. Second. We have a motion and a second to adjourn. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Any abstentions? The ayes have it. Thank you very much. And Laura brought up some. Uh, I know some Valentine's good stuff. Day goodies. Ooh. We couldn't get to them earlier. We got a little heated. <laughs> oh, that's all right. I just want to understand oh, because I feel like I'm not going to get it to you. I think what we need to do is diet. So. In